Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be going over the next few days of severe weather and severe thunderstorms that are going to be affecting some areas. We have a few days of some enhanced chances at severe weather, so we're going to be going over that in this video. And this is kind of a sneak peek at the types of videos I'd like to make throughout the spring and summer for severe weather coverage. So let me know, give me some criticism on this type of video, and let me know what you like about it and what you don't like about it. That way I can kind of uh, fix it up and make it the best possible type of video I can as I continue to make these throughout the rest of the year and as we have thunderstorms. Alright, so we're going to start out with day one uh, from the Storm Prediction Center and you can see our our chances here we have a thunderstorm risk in the lighter shade of green and that is there's two areas there's one for the northern Rockies and then there's one really that extends from the Great Lakes down into the south Gulf states into Louisiana uh, Mississippi and usually these aren't too big of a deal in the thunderstorm areas you do have some isolated severe weather sometimes in these we see that uh, some areas where we get reports of wind or or hail damage but it's it's uncommon really and the marginal risk though we have in that dark darker green, we do see, uh, I would say about 50 to 60% of the time when we see a marginal risk, we do get reports of some severe weather. Usually there's one or two, uh, but sometimes it does uh, overperform a little bit, and then we do see some more severe weather reports. So that, that's going to be kind of your north side of Chicago uh, into portions of Iowa and down uh, into the Kentucky, Missouri area. St. Louis is in there. So there's a lot of areas in that, uh, possibly Indianapolis as well, I believe. So we have a lot of big cities in this marginal risk. And then we see our slight risk here in the yellow. And that's where we see kind of uh, scattered reports of severe weather. Usually when we have a slight risk, you do see uh, some reports of severe weather. And that's really what the uh, chances or the categorical outlooks are for, is really your chance of severe weather and also the kind of how widespread it is. Is it isolated to scattered to widespread? Um, so that's what these are for. In moderate to high chances, that's usually where we see widespread severe weather, and you can expect it to for sure happen in a moderate or high uh, category type situation. Now, we're going to move on to kind of your individual uh, probabilities here, and we're going to start with wind here. And you can see in the, in the brown area, that's where we have a 5% chance of wind damage to be reported at any given location. And then in your yellow, that's where we have a 15% chance. So that's going to be your your in your in within your slight region that I just showed you. It, you're going to have a 15% chance of wind damage. And, and throughout the day, that's going to be the highest risk is wind, by the way. Now we're going to look at hail. And you can see there's only a 5% chance throughout this entire area, mostly Indi or, um, Illinois, but portions of Missouri, Kentucky, Wisconsin, and Iowa are also included in that. Then you see your tornado risk, and there's a general 2% risk within some portions of Illinois there. So watch out for the isolated chance of a tornado. It is possible. Now we're going to move on to tomorrow, and really not as big of a chance yet. I don't really think we will get upgraded to a slight. It's possible that we get upgraded to a slight in Texas or also portions of western Pennsylvania or northern West Virginia, but I highly doubt it. We do have a marginal risk, though, for areas uh, that might be just north of Dallas and then portions of... Um, other portions of Texas as well. And then you see Pittsburgh down through West Virginia. We also have a marginal risk there. We're going to move on to day three, and this is really where we see our biggest chance of severe weather. Uh, so this is Sunday, and, I, and I'm really worried about this for, nor for northern Louisiana and portions of Texas, Arkansas, and Mississippi as well, as we have an enhanced already at day three. This could get upgraded to a moderate at this point, which again would be more widespread. So this could be one of our bigger severe weather events of the entire year so far. So I would definitely look out if you are in that area, but do not underestimate it if you are in the slight region or the marginal region. Uh, there in the dark green or the yellow. This could also affect you in, in very impactful ways. So definitely do not underestimate it just because you're not in the enhanced. And also the enhanced area could grow into a lot of these areas. And we do see that a lot. Usually they don't downgrade. Usually we, we stick with a more conservative uh, forecast or the NOAA does stick with a more conservative forecast three days out or more. And then they usually tend to upgrade it more likely than downgrade it. So look for the possible upgrade to a moderate chance here. Uh, or if not, at least an increase in the size of the enhanced region. But definitely if you're in northern Louisiana or in Texas, look out for this one. Because we could be seeing some chances for tornadoes, hail, and wind damage. And it could be a pretty moderate chance at that. Now we do have a chance for day four, and usually these long range ones means that we will see a slight or an enhanced at least chance. So the day, so this is looking towards Monday, 
Uh, look out if you're in Georgia, Alabama, or Florida, maybe even some portions of Mississippi, because you do have a 15% chance of severe weather, and it's four days out, so we will probably see a slight or enhanced risk at least uh, going on Monday. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this pretty thorough uh, forecast for the next four days of severe weather, and I hope that you found this information very useful, uh, and it helped you make make you feel more informed about what's going to be happening. Again, leave feedback for this type of video. This is what I would like to bring. I don't see a lot of people making videos like this, so I, I like to bring kind of like an alternate or like a very unique, uh, you know, perspective of weather for you guys. It's kind of how I've built my channel. So again, let me know how you like this video, and anyway, I hope to see you in the next one. Hope I'll be making these pretty consistently. See you guys. Have a great day.